Hello students. In this video, we will go for a simple application of the digital PLLIC CD4046B as a frequency multiplier. So, what do you mean by a frequency multiplier? It is useful mainly in frequency synthesis and communication systems. It is supposed to give the output frequency which is an integer multiple of the input frequency that is f out is equal to n times f in figure a shows the internal block diagram of the digital PLLIC that is CD4046B in the diagram we can observe that the output of VCO at pin number 4 termed as VCO out can be connected as comparator input in two different ways. One, they have directly connected the output of VCO that is pin number 4 to pin number 3. Another way is what they have shown by dotted lines that is between pin number 4 and 3 they have shown another block which is divided by n. So remember this block is very important in the application of the IC as a frequency multiplier. Now we will go to the design and here as we know that in the IC there are two phase comparators PC1 and PC2. For this application we are going to use the second phase comparator. Now in the design the first point will be the given or you may say the desired maximum output frequency. Assume here it is equal to 10 kilohertz and the multiplication factor n is equal to 10. Second stage calculate FO which is also called as the center frequency or the free running frequency from the equation FO is equal to F max upon 2. So as per the first step of design as we have assumed that F max is equal to 10 kilohertz so the FO will become 5 kilohertz. Third stage use FO with figure B to determine R1 and C1. Now as per the figure B, R3 is equal to R1 and C2 is equal to C1. Now R1 and C1 are the VCO register and timing capacitor as per the internal block diagram. Now we will see the connection diagram of frequency multiplier using the IC CD4046B. Uh, the two ICs that is CD4046 and uh, divided by N block IC both are being operated on plus 5 volt so that they will share a common power supply. Now IC1 will be the IC that is the PLL IC CD4046B. So as per the internal block diagram the two components of VCO are R1 and C1 but according to the connection diagram between pin number 6 we have denoted the timing capacitor of VCO by C2 and the register at pin number 11 instead of R1 we are saying here by the notation R3. In addition R1, R2 and C1 these three components are being used for giving the stability to the total loop. Now the output of VCO which is available at pin number 4 and pin number 3 which is the comparator input pin. Between these two pins the divide by N network is being connected in the form of the second IC. Now if we will again recall the design here then we have assumed that n is equal to 
10 that is the multiplication factor so we have to divide the output of vco by the same factor so that the pll loop will get locked and stabilized at the frequency of the 10 times to that of the input frequency in digital techniques you might have used one ic that is ic 74 ls 90 which is a decade counter ic so in place of the block divided by n we can use the ic you can refer the data sheet of the 7490 ic for the different connections because internally it is having two different counters and two different inputs for the different counters but in this application we are going to use only one input and output will be available at pin number 11 of the ic remember here we are not going to use the pins set and reset of both the counters individually now the component values we will have from the design value of fo which is coming at 5 kilohertz then if you will refer the characteristics given by the manufacturer in the data sheet which is the characteristic of the center frequency versus the timing capacitor for different values of r1 and the supply voltages from it we can say that approximately the value of the timing capacitor will be 0 0.01 microfarad but it is not exactly 0 0.01 microfarad so to have a standard value nearby to the value from the characteristic we are assuming that c2 is equal to 0 0.01 microfarad for the timing capacity timing register of 10 kilo ohms now the second ic that is the 7490 decade counter ic can be connected as shown in the diagram this slide shows the center frequency and vco timing capacitor for different values of the timing register r1 and the supply voltage so from this characteristic whatever will be the calculated center frequency as per the design we can uh, get the approximate value of the timing capacitor c1 by considering r1 and supply voltage and then we can select a nearby standard capacitor so when we are going to select a nearby standard capacitor it means that we need to change the value of the timing register thank you